It's just really crazy. I haven't quite processed it, I think. I mean, coming here, I was basically in tears, just trying to imagine what it'd be like to, to finally be home after five months. And even this flight wasn't easy, so I'm just super happy. At first, I really wanted to go on this big adventure. It's something I dreamt about for a very long time. It's only once uh, media interest started growing that I thought I could do something with that and uh, encourage more girls and young women to go into aviation and STEM, so that's science, technology, engineering and mathematics. My plane is very small, it's uh, called a microlight, and usually uh, there aren't many people that fly across the Atlantic or the Pacific in a, a small plane like that every day. <laughs> of course, yeah, no, at the end of the day you're still flying a plane, but I had the Red Devils, the, air, the other planes following me the whole, like from, when, from Belgium onwards, and that was incredible. Obviously mixed feelings. When she first uh, told me about it, my heart skipped a beat. Um, it took me a bit of time to digest and, uh, and now I'm so proud and fully, fully behind her. Um, but as I said, mixed feelings. sandwich that's like from a sandwich shop that's like really nearby and I've been waiting five months to get it so I'm really looking forward to, to getting it.